Okay, I think that's recording. Um, I hope you can see me. I don't know why I've come out so bright. Um, I've tried it with several different cameras and for some reason it keeps looking like that. Okay, I have been asked to come and do a quick rerun of the six scarf tutorial um, that I originally posted, which is in my profile picture and which Deanna did lately as well. Um, so I'm just going to run through it fairly quickly. Uh, you need to have a shaper. The reason being that with this being six scarves and with the way that they all line back, you need the length. So if you've got a bun and you can put it underneath your, this is the ultimate, this is the Rapunzel ultimate, so it's um, got the sewn in band. If you've got long enough hair to put a bun underneath it, put a bun underneath it. I just have a bob, so I've packed mine out with, um, with a bun donut just to actually give me that support and length at the back to to put all the scarves on. You'll see why when, when we get through it. In terms of scarves, you need six. Um, you need to have really, really thin ones, and I would suggest not using um, slippery ones. So the ones that I've got are Rapunzel two-in-ones, not the tough two-in-ones. I've been told that they're actually slightly heavier than the two-in-ones, so I think six of those you'd probably struggle to wrap. Um, in terms of colour choices, I have, because I'm doing this in a hurry, I have grabbed the first six off my um, off my collection, and they don't match. In fact, they clash quite considerably, but it might turn out nicely, you never know. Um, but I've noticed when I've done this wrap before, that if you try and do the same colourways, so if you do all blues or all purples or all reds, it doesn't look quite as striking. So I would suggest to you that you do it with um, a colour way. So for example, have four blue shade ones and then add in two reds or two bright greens or two purples or something just to actually break it up a bit. And I found that that actually looks slightly better if you have contrast colours in there. Um, so turquoise and orange is a really good one if you have those colorways. So I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm just putting all mine in half. Okay, so we'll start putting the scarves on. Um, and you will need to fold them to fit your head. The first three, when you put them on, I'll show you what I mean in a second. I'm doing this in a tiny screen, it's quite hard to see. Okay. okay. And just cross them at the back. With six, you really don't want to have six knots. Um, and so what I've done with this one is I've done uh, one side long and one side short and it's about a third to two thirds just uh, ratio wise and that's that's for the first three so put that on there and then I'll put the second one on and the second one will be exactly the same as the first one just cross it over at the back and try and make it a third and two thirds And just another note when putting these on, obviously because you've got six, you want to keep the bands at the front fairly narrow. And the reason for that is because although we're having things that are crossing over, it's actually really striking when you see just the stripes. And if you've got five of them um, going back, they're going to come to about here. So try and keep them thin, otherwise they'll be all the way back to the back of your head and you'll cover them up when you start with the decorative stuff. Okay, so I have two on. I'm going to go for the third. And this is the same again, the third and two thirds. And just cross at the back. Right, now with the second three that you're putting on, you want to make sure that you've got one fairly short tail 
and one really long tail. Um, so this time I would go for about a quarter and three quarters, but make sure that the long tails are again all on the same side and it's up to you if you want to have them on the other side to the first three or the same side. I tend to do them all on the same side um, and I found for me that balances out quite well weight wise um, which is a consideration when you're wearing this many scarves at once. Um. So this one I'm just going to cross I think in the original video, I um, I knotted it, but I'm just going to knot the last two. And same again with the fourth one. And this one I'm going to tie. And the last one. And it's actually a really good idea if you've um, seen Naomi's recent tutorial um, for how to cut down on bulk at the back. If you do the bulk reducing knot by tying them like crossways across each other instead of stacked, I would advise doing that because obviously with six scarves on you've got a lot of bulk at the back there. So the more you can cut that down the better really. Okay. Oh, I can't actually oh. can't see that last one, it's too bright on the screen. Okay, so that's all six on. You can see the stripes. Okay, and at this stage, don't worry that these look a little bit messy at the side. The reason for that is because they're just crossed over instead of knotted, so they're not actually pulled taut. As you start working with them, this will all smooth out and it will start to look neat again. So just don't worry about it right now. Okay, now I'm just going to start um, putting the fancy bits on. I'm sure there's probably a technical term for it. And I noticed when I was doing this beforehand that if you start with the colour that's already at the back, which in this case is the red, it just kind of fades into itself. So that's the other nice thing about doing the crossover knot is that in actual fact, for the long tails, this, um, I think this is the taupe, it's either the taupe of dark gold, must be the taupe, is at the back. So that's a really good one to start with. So all I'm going to do is just twist it. All the way down right to the end as far as it'll go and then fold it back on itself Oops. and then put your finger through the loop at the end and just twist it so you've got a nice kind of rope and then you put that over the back and find you can either do it with the corresponding tail which I'm going to do in this case or you can pick one of the other tails from the back three and just pull that through it. And what you want to do is, from the outside, bring it in towards the head through the hole. Hold on to the other side and pull it down tight against the head. Okay. And then on the other side, just tuck this way you can. And it's a little bit difficult for the first one um, because there's no knots just yet. Right, like right underneath. Okay. And then you do exactly the same with the other two. So with the red, I'm just going to twist it all the way down. Hold 
right back on itself. Without getting the fringe all tangled up. Okay. And once you've got a nice rope, bring it over in front of in front of the back one. Find the corresponding or the complementary tail. Hold on to this end and pull that one taut. Okay. And then tuck. And then last one I think was gold, wasn't it? Or tote. Where is that? Oh, we're done with it. Nope, we've done the gold. What's that? Can't tell the colours here. Ah, okay, it was green. <laughs> okay. And then the same again. When you've got a nice rope, bring it in front of the second one. And then pull it through the loop again, in towards the head. other side okay so that's the back three almost done um, so I'm hoping this will be I'll show you from the side that's what you have at the moment okay so we'll move on to the first three and then we'll finish off those and talk through the variations okay so there are two ways that you can do this. When I first did this wrap, I just did it as one long continuous braid that went all the way down and round. Um, but I did really like, Deanna did a version of this recently where she actually did it Liesel style. So she brought them halfway over and then just did one long braid all down the side. Um, so it is entirely up to you how you want to do it. I'm gonna do the video of braiding all the way um, just because that's how I did the original wrap and that was where the photographs came from. Um, but yeah, especially if, like me, you've got an absolutely giant head um, and you don't have long enough scarves to do an all-the-way round braid, then, like I said, the, the variation that Deanna did with the, with the half, half braid actually looked beautiful. Okay, so in this case we're going to braid them, but don't braid it all the way down, you just want enough to come over your head at the moment. And try not to braid it. If you pull it too tight, it gets quite thick and you end up with less length. So don't don't pull it too tight. You need to leave it fairly loose. Okay. Let me just test. And you want to bring it over in front of in front of the twists. And that's actually about the right length for me. So you want to bring them down to the point where either down low here or just behind your ear or wherever you want to join in the other three tails because this is going to be like a continuous French braid style. So when you get to where you want to go, what you do is you pick up the corresponding colours and just put them together. which is really hard to see on a tiny screen. Um, here we go. Okay, so I want those together, and then I want my green ones together. Okay. And then all you do is you just carry on braiding as you were, pulling them 
tight against the head. Like I said, it's exactly the same principle as a French braid. And it's a little bit fiddly, but once you've gotten to the hang of it, you'll be able to do it. And this is a really nice thing to do with just regular braids. Um, if you don't want all the weight at the back on a bun, you can just bring it over. It's the same. It's really nice to do with the Liesel as well. Okay, and just keep braiding until you run out of tail. Um, and then... You can either tie it together or put a hair bobble on it or a nice clip. Um, just whatever. Finish off the end. I'm going to use a hair bobble in this case because that's what I've got handy. Right, okay. And then so... That's what you've got. You've got this braid that starts at one side and goes all the way over to the top and then kind of continues in this one long waterfall all the way down. So at this stage, if you like the floof, you can leave it like that. Or um, in the original one, I braided these three tails then and tucked them under. So that's what I'll do now. And then just tuck those somewhere under the back. Okay. So you can hopefully see that I've done it far enough back that you can see all six bands at the front. And I'm hoping the back is going to be slightly neater than the last time I demonstrated this because it was a bit of a mess last time. But yeah, we've got the three twists and then we've got the braid. Okay. Um, and I think on the original picture I had, um, I'd slipped some flowers kind of down this side and maybe underneath it as well. Um, just clip on flowers and they were really cute if you want you can put um, I can't remember what the pin uh, clip that Rapunzel does is called but that's really nice you can put that over the over the knots or over the waterfalls or over whatever you want to do it's a really easy one to accessorize as well if you want something super fancy so I hope I hope that was audible and understandable and if there are any questions um, please don't hesitate to ask. I have absolutely all the time in the world for my Rapunzel sisters um, and I really don't mind. So I'm looking forward to seeing your pictures ladies. Bye!